Well, this is a fun topic, a horrifying disease. The disease is called kwashiorkor, and yes, I admit it, I had to search up how to pronounce it. Kwashiorkor. So this kwashiorkor is quite simply a case of malnutrition, specifically a lack of protein. As you probably know by now, protein is one of the most important elements to keeping humans alive. Protein helps our bodies grow, and without it, huge complications can occur, especially in small children. But how does it actually happen? How does kwashiorkor develop in children? Well, this disease can be caused by a lack of protein in a child's diet, but also by the mother's lack of protein. One of the reasons kwashiorkor affects such young children is because if they are breastfed and their mother doesn't eat enough fish, that's going to cause a lack of protein in her breast milk. And when the child drinks that breast milk, that's going to cause a lack of protein in their own diet. Kwashiorkor is mostly caused when there isn't easy access to protein, but there are some very rare cases in which neglect has caused the disease. Well, Billy, looks like you got an F on your science exam. You know what that means. I'm cutting off all protein from your diet, and you're going to get what Ghanaians refer to as the disease of the displaced child. There's so many effects of crush call, which I will now list. Get ready. Change in hair color to a rust color, fatigue, diarrhea, loss of muscle mass, the failure to grow again, weight swelling, body rashes, shock, damage immune system, and more. But mainly, it causes a long-term impact on physical and mental development and causes a lack of growth to the child. In severe cases, this might even cause death. Diagnosis is literally physically looking at a child and looking whether the child is swelling. If needed, blood and urine tests will help diagnose the condition further. You might think that curing kwashiorkor only really involves eating protein, and you'd be kind of right, but also kind of wrong. Kwashiorkor is often treated by first feeding the patient with other foods, and then introducing protein. However, no matter how many Flintstones chewables you consume, the condition is often so extreme that there will be permanent physical and mental effects. Obviously, there were a lot of jokes in this video, but it's important to remember that kwashiorkor is a very real disease that affects just under 200 million children per year. It's a very glaring reminder that if we remove just one portion of our dietary requirements, it can cause huge complications.